Hello YouTube, XXVJXXZVids here today, and I'll be doing a uh, mod installation tutorial, and today's mod will be Galactic Craft 1.5.1. Um, just a head notice, guys, you will need Minecraft Forge installed if you do not know how to install it. Um, mm -hmm. link will be in the description for one of my, uh, tutorials on how to install it, so what you guys want to do is, in the description, there will be a link to this page, where you guys can search up Galactic Craft 1.5.1. Whichever, whichever you prefer. And pff, so, right here is the mod itself. You guys can watch a little video right there. But I'm gonna do the download. So, if you go to the download site, it'll come up here. And what you guys want to do is go to home if you're not on home. And this is all the mods that he has made Galactic Craft. So, let's do the Galactic Craft. Oops. Guys, sorry guys, I meant my mods. You guys want to go to my mods, Galactic Craft WIP. And right here it is, and you guys press download. And you guys want it right there. Download Galactic Craft Alpha version 0.1.27 universal, but that version will change. Just download the second one, not the forward to the second one. And um, you guys will install it, and it will be as a .jar file. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, just put that to your desktop. I already have it on my desktop. It is right here. So, what you guys want to do is, once Forge is successfully installed, go to percent app data. Percent. That's, you can use, uh, this percent app data percent works on Vista. XP, or not XP, Vista. Windows 7 and Windows 8. Um, if you're on Windows XP, type in run. I'll show you. And you guys want to put in percent update uh, percent press ok and it will open up here and you guys want to go into your roaming then dot minecraft then right here where it says core mods you guys want to open that up and just drag the dot jar file into the core mods and that's how you guys install the galactic craft at least with the dot jar for 1.5.1 now of course I will always show you that it works and I also have full ends um, and millionaire, or mi millionaire, I can't wait till, um, the maker of the More Furniture mod updates his, because then I, um, will install that. Currently, it's not up for Forge, so if you have Forge, you can't use it, you have to have Mod Loader, but Forge is the main thing that, um, can run, like, a lot of mods, and Mod Loader can barely, and if you try to install Mod Loader with Forge, it just messes up. <coughs> so anyways, just let Minecraft load up. Um, some cool things about Galactic Craft is that you guys can um, currently go to the main. Um, he will be adding, like, I think, 11 more dimensions, if that's what he said. On the forum post, not just exactly sure about that, but you guys can also build a space station. And, uh, I'll just go over all that stuff. But this will not be a, um, full mod overview tutorial, because that will take hours. Probably. G-A-C-Galactic Craft. I hope I spelled that right. Default. Da, 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 okay. Click in the world. So, um, right from the beginning, I'm going to show you something cool that you guys can do um, with the Galactic Craft mod. Okay, guys, so right here I am in Minecraft with Galactic Craft. See, right here, Galactic Craft. And then there's Galactic Craft main. Alright, here's the Galactic Craft. But if you guys press M, the M key, it will open up something like this. And it's a um like little map. And right here we have the overworld. And just that little tiny thing is the moon. She as you guys can see. So we have the overworld and the moon. And of course, right there is the sun. But so, it, like, right here is like, I guess this is what he's gonna go off of. He's gonna add more um, things like this, which I thought this was really cool. So, if you guys press escape, that leads out of that. Alright, alright, I'm just gonna go into space and also build a space um, station too. So, I'm gonna get the pre fueled rocket ship. And the rocket launch pad. You guys need to have a 3x3 rocket launch pad area to launch off a rocket. 
And I'll show you what happens when you do that. So three by three. Oops. On there. And you guys see it combines to one and has this little stand. Put the spaceship on it. Okay. And to build the um crap. To build the space station, you guys are gonna need iron. And you guys are gonna need the steel and tin. Okay. Oh, and um, also on the moon, guys, to breathe, you will need. Let me find it. Oxygen mask. Some oxygen tanks. And. Where is it at? Where is it at? Right there. And oxygen gear. And to equip this, you guys press R. Oxygen mask. Oxygen gear. Heavy oxygen tanks. You also will need a parachute. 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 Right there. I'm just going to put in one of these. Oh, yeah. My bad. R. Parachute. Okay. So, as you guys see on the side here, over there, there's a little GUI, which I thought it was a nice add touch. Alright, so space is to launch A and D are to turn left and right. W and S is for up and down. And the F key shows you the full your full fuel and in inventory. So let's launch. It depending on how long it's been here, it might take up to like 45 seconds to launch. So just wait here. change my perspective. This is what it looks like inside the rocket. Outside. Oh, would you look at that. Look at that. That looks really cool. And as you see, our GUI is changing as we go upwards. As you can see I can semi-control the rocket. Yeah. But do be cautious on your, on your fuel. Well, I can't say that word today. Also, guys, um, if you'd like to comment on um, anything you'd like me to do, that'd um, be really nice. And would you look at that? Even when you guys get into space, you can see the overworld. I thought that looks this just looks um, outstanding. But as I was saying, um, if you guys would like me to do a mod installation tutorial, or you guys need some help, or you just want me to do a tutorial in like Roblox or something, just comment in the description, and I'll um, be sure to help out if I can. If I can, I'll try and find a video that will help you out. So yeah. Okay. Okay, Zan. So right here we have the overworld, the moon, and if you go into over overworld, you guys can create a space station. You need 16 tin, 8 steel, and 12 iron. So we can create the space station. And if you guys want to go to the space station, which I'll go, huh. so you guys will spawn right here. Right here is the chest that will come out. And as you guys see, you of course do need your oxygen masks and stuff. And as you guys see, gravity. And right here in our chest, we should have a rocket. I'm gonna destroy it because it's not old. And now I'm gonna go to the main guys. See, okay, I have a parachute. And let's launch. So, I mean, that's a little cool. I'm pretty sure that the space station is a work in progress, but this whole mod is a work in progress. So, of course, there's going to be things that um, are a little bit glitchy and stuff, but yeah. Boom, lift off. Now, I don't know if the GUI changer was going to take me a lot longer to get up into the actual space, but hope not, but I think it will be. Ping nine thirty seven. Huh. Yeah, but um, guys, seriously, um, <laughs> as I said before, if you guys need any help or you want me to do a video on something, just please comment or private message me. I will be checking. I do check my Gmail daily, and also check my YouTube daily, so yeah. 
Uh, also, like and subscribe. If you subscribe, that'd be very, very helpful. Just to let me know that you guys do appreciate or have helped you out and like the videos if they did help you out. So, oh, oh god, what happened? Guys, I'm gonna pause and I'm um, resume. I guess this is a bug, just let me. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, that was a major bug, and I had to actually create a new um, world because I guess like my whole thing was glitch. But, anyways, guys, so here I am. I'm gonna go to the moon. I see that you spawn, and you guys come down with your parachute on. And also over here, I'm going to grab out these sensor goggles. Uh, they're pretty cool. If you guys, so as you guys see, um, that is a little gravity. And also, your footsteps show up. I thought that was pretty cool. Now to the sensor glasses. They detect mobs, and when you're mining, you go into advanced mode. I can hit for enough down. I guess I can't. Up, but anyway, so right here's the chest I came down to. I'm also gonna go look for a um, what you call it, a um, space village. So I can show you guys that. I'm gonna pause until I find one, guys. Okay, guys, so I've just found one in my buggy. When I was driving around. So, right here is a NPC village. And as you can see, <laughs> they have really tall blue heads because, you know, they have masks on. And also, these are good places to set up um, oxygen collectors in the distributors because they have, instead of having an original wheat farm, they have a sapling farm. And, um, yeah, so they're really good for that stuff. And also, mobs do spawn on the moon. Some, I think I saw a skeleton with a double um, bow and arrow, so that was pretty scary. And as you can see, the sensor glasses, you know, sensor things. And if I can get this to go, I guess it just doesn't want to work for me. But, so, anyways, guys, this is a galactic mod, or a galactic craft mod, and this is how to install it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and thanks. Bye, YouTube.